What's up guys welcome on back to tk's garage and today i know as much as you guys might be frustrated with me talking about carvana like i said i promised every single one of these consumers if i got their stories in they were actually able to be verified that i was going to talk about them and this is another one um i saw a i believe i saw him originally on instagram and or tiktok um, a gentleman by the name of, I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing this right, Jerome, right? J-A-R-O-M, right? Now, I'm just gonna, I have a long email here from him and uh, I've already verified all the information that's in here. And it's just something I want you guys to know about. It's just another story. It's just something else I want to document about this company and just how sketchy they are, man. Just how level of scumbag behavior that they have. So Jerome emails and he says, last month I purchased a vehicle through Carvana, like a lot of people have done, right? I've been looking for a specific hard to find vehicle for a while. When this one popped up on Carvana, it had very low miles, looked absolutely pristine in all the photos. And best of all, was a single owner vehicle with a meticulous maintenance history on Carfax. Just what I was looking for. Sounds good, right? I'm going to be, that sounds like the exact kind of car that I would want to be uh, looking at, right? He financed through his local credit union at 1.9%. Ding, 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 ding. Do not fall for the car back for the uh, car Vana scam. And Carvana offered him 6.7%. You see that big difference in like Carvana literally just scams people, man. <clears throat> they overnighted the check to Carvana on December 17th. Initially, it was supposed to be delivered on January 4th. But after rescheduling multiple times, because you know what? It was probably a buyback from somebody else, and they were trying to get it back so that they could sell it to him. Um, it finally arrived on January 18th. After I had already started making payments on the loan. Wow. I've also been paying for car insurance on the vehicle for a month while I waited. So you bought this vehicle. It's already financed. It's already been paid for. It's like you bought it for cash and you've been waiting over a month and you've been paying insurance and payments on the car and no car. Crazy. Finally, it was ready. I went to the local Carvana location to pick up the vehicle only to immediately see that the cradle holding up the fuel tank had completely disintegrated from rust. Just think about that. They were actually going to sell a car with a fuel tank that is sagging. But it went through a, a hundred and something point inspection, right, Carvana? Come on, man. All right. Um, it was dangling. Okay, so leaving the entire fuel tank dangling several inches below the frame with absolutely no support. And we actually have attached photos, which I'm going to give you guys here. Now guys, I want you to think about if this was your family, a vehicle you were buying for your family. Look at that fuel tank and that rusted metal hanging that low. This was a absolute <laughs> disaster waiting to happen. I mean, <clears throat> Carvana should be fined at the least and or be held liable for this. This is, <clears throat> again, another example of just how careless they are and how dangerous they are. And I don't want you to think about this as like, oh, this is a cool video. I want you to think about this as in this man's whole family could have died driving this car. The ineptitude, the negligence is just mind-blowing to me. Now, Jerome continues, <clears throat> if I had obviously driven to the interstate in my new vehicle with my family, because his family was with him, think about this. 
topped off the gas tank, it would have likely detached at 75 miles an hour, causing serious injury and or death. I know someone's going to say, no, not really. Think about this. You've got rusted metal parts hanging from under the car. The fuel tank hangs, it opens up, it hits the ground, it starts leaking fuel, and one of those rusted spots hits a spark, it's over. That car is going up in flames. But they did a they did a hundred and something point inspection, supposedly. The Carvana attendant there assured me that it would be fixed through their warranty service, so I immediately transported it to a mecha mechanic who is fully checking out the rusted frame now. Oh, he has informed me that the replacement fuel tank is com is currently back ordered and it would be months until one is available, meaning like you wouldn't be able to drive the vehicle for the first six months that you owned it, right? It makes me wonder if they knew about it and also ran into the back order issue. So they just decided to pass the problem on to me and the warranty service. Of course they did. Come on, man. This is, the, this is the way that Carvana operates. All right. <clears throat> Hoping I wouldn't notice. He hasn't had a chance to completely examine the frame yet, aside from the disintegrated tank support, but it is extremely rusted, especially at weld and bolt points. The mechanic is also not thrilled with the idea of having the work with a warranty service for the repairs, as he has been burned multiple times by them in the past. Unfortunately, depending on who the warranty company is, sometimes that happens. They'll give you a credit card to pay. You know, the warranty company gives a credit card. The mechanic runs the card. It's paid. And like a month or two later, the warranty service does a chargeback. There, there's scams all over the internet like this. And outside of like maybe Car Shield or Max Care, which you get at Car uh, Car at uh, Car Max, and a couple of other you know like brand specific, like Mopar has a warranty service. GM has their own. BMW has their CPO warranty, you know, like the brands have their own CPO warranty service. A lot of mechanics don't want to deal with it. They just don't. Um, my every interaction with Carvana since has been along the lines of, sorry that you're unhappy, but if there really is anything wrong, our warranty service will take care of it. Okay. There's been no desire to understand how this might have gone unnoticed throughout their much-touted rigorous four-step inspection process. Come on, man. There's no inspection process. Or any desire to fix an obviously broken process. Because Carvana doesn't care. Um, he says, I am confident that when I cancel the transaction, they will simply turn around and sell the vehicle to some other unsuspecting person who might experience severe injury to themselves or other as a result. What I would recommend for Jerome is... And somebody's going to say that this is wrong. You shouldn't do that. Pull on the fuel tank. Have your mechanic take the rest of the rotted frame out and just leave the fuel tank hanging. They're not going to be able to sell it with a, with a fuel tank that's touching the ground. And you can tell them, hey, I can't drive it to you. You got to tow it because it's damaged. They don't have an option at that point but to fix it. Um, he says, in conclusion, all in all, I paid nearly 30000 for a vehicle that is unsafe to operate unless it goes through extensive repairs. Nice deal. And he's out of Utah. <clears throat> now, the um, the images on this, as you guys can clearly see, are pretty self-explanatory. This is an absolute disaster. And it, this is, look, this is nothing new. And I'm not going to say that this doesn't happen at other car dealerships. But this is par for the course with Carvana. This is something they do all the time. And I mean, like, Saltwater damaged cars. Somebody finds it. They find it in an, a post-sale inspection. They send it back within the seven days. What does Carvana do? You know it's saltwater damage. We're just going to clean it back up and we're going to try to sell it again. And that's where I think Jerome is right. They would probably zip tie strap or do something else to hold that fuel tank up and probably try to resell that vehicle um, knowing that it's a safety hazard. And you know what's you know what's the sad point about Carvana is outside of the title issues and all the other Mickey Mouse stuff that they have going on, these safety issues like this from like from Jerome and someone's gonna say, oh TK, you made that story up. Look, the gentleman is right here, and, I, and I've talked about him multiple times, and he's we've also uh, corresponded on the channel and on social media. So here's the thing, and if any member of the media would like his information, 
I'll happily uh, hand off, you know, the email to you. And you can contact them to do a story on it yourself, especially if you're media in Utah. I think it would be a great story. But, you know, look, I don't think Carvana is going to care until somebody dies. And it's crazy, right? Until somebody gets severely injured or hurt, they're not going to give a rat's ass. And that is the concerning point. Another nightmare story from Carvana, and I keep getting them. I got 17 emails since doing the live stream with Terry yesterday. So that's not where you know the timeline of when this video was made. 17 emails since yesterday i'm just like oh my god and they're all with <clears throat> half of them are about safety issues one guy had a wheel hub come off his vehicle a one-year-old truck that he bought for sixty thousand dollars and the wheel hub came off on the highway why because they replaced it evidently at carvana and didn't uh torque it to specs evidently they over torqued it and caused an issue that video will be coming soon don't worry i'm gonna get to every single look and every single one of these consumers that wants to get on a live and tell their story and and use my platform as a voice to to put it out there we're gonna do that every time and i don't care how bad it hurts my analytics i don't care if it hurts the revenue on the channel because you got, like i told you guys multiple times before i don't need the money from the channel so I don't care. We're going to just start doing it because I need these people's voices to be heard. And I need this company to do one of two things, get their shit together or close up shop. I don't care which one it is, but it needs to happen. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.